This is going to show you how to share photos using Google Photos. If you're signed in to your Google account, you can click More, then Photos. And you probably have never, if you've never used this program, you will have to start with Upload Photos. Choose, click to open the file browser. Choose where you've saved your pictures from your camera roll. Yeah, I'm just going to pick one of these. And it'll upload. Then you can add a caption. And choose done. I'm going to skip the tagging part, but if you wanted to, you could tag a student's name here. And here it automatically takes you to actually sharing the album. If you're ready to share this album, um, I would maybe add a comment about the event that we that all these photos were taken, and then you would choose who you want to share with. You could add email addresses if you start typing. It'll automatically pick up the email addresses. Um, there's even one that says Ascension Episcopal School, and it says that it will allow us all to find them, but I, I don't really know how this feature works. So I would just type in the email addresses at this point, and then you would hit Share. Later, if you wanted to come back and add to those photos, when you go to More Photos, you're going to see this screen. Let me find the one that I just added. Here's the one I just added. If I wanted to continue adding to this album, you can either go to Albums and choose that album. And you'll see that there's the ones that I've shared have the little circles, and the ones that I haven't uh, have the lock. So this one, if I wanted to add to it, you can just click it and then hit add photos. My computer's glitching a little here. So you would click add photos and you everyone that is share everyone this folder has been shared with or this album has been shared with will get these photos or will have access to these photos. If you want to edit a photo, you can click it and choose edit up at the top. You can also share individual pictures with people here using the little arrow. You'll want to be sure you rename your album so that whoever receives this album doesn't get just a date like this. So you may want to, um, you just got to scroll over it and then click. And sorry, my computer's glitching a little bit. Okay, and you can just name it. Um, if your teacher's sharing it with, like, the upper school for the newspaper or Christy for the yearbook or who, whatever, whoever, um, you probably want to name it. Uh, maybe like third grade and then your name so that they know who these pictures are coming from and they know what class and then each individual picture you could write a caption as to who the student is and what was going on. It's just a suggestion you might you, you guys might figure out a better way to organize your photos and that's about it for Google Photos.